Hi, I'm Brandywine curator Amanda Burden. In celebration of Women's History Month, I want to explore the work of one of America's most popular and most successful female illustrators, Rose O'Neill. Rose O'Neill achieved perhaps the greatest fame of any female illustrator in the early 20th century. Entirely self-taught, she began a professional career as an illustrator while still a teenager. She moved to a convent in New York City from her family home in Omaha, Nebraska, in order to work with the major publishing houses. In 1897, she was hired by Puck Magazine as the first woman cartoonist on its all-male staff. Over the six years she worked there, she produced hundreds of cartoons, many depicting women's lives in the modern world. This cartoon of a governess taking a young student through piano lessons appeared in the April 13, 1904 issue of Puck. In 1908, O'Neill began to draw the Cupy character, a cherubic figure with hair swept up to a curl on the top of the head. In fact, Cupy was a play on Cupid, the Roman god of love. The Cupies first appeared as a comic strip in Ladies' Home Journal and spread to other women's magazines as their popularity quickly grew. By 1912, a German doll maker produced Cupy figurines and later dolls, one of the very first mass-marketed toys in the U.S. In this photo, O'Neill is seated by a table displaying one of the very first Cupy dolls. O'Neill joined the women's suffrage movement in 1915, turning her talents towards women's rights. She contributed numerous designs for postcards, posters, and other promotional material to the National Women's Suffrage Association, ultimately putting the Cupies to work in service of suffrage. This view of the Brandywine's Votes for Women, a visual history exhibition in 2020, shows a sampling of her suffrage designs. Last year, the Brandywine received a gift from O'Neill's family of 11 works, many of which stretch back to her early days at Puck. Looking over the group of stylized black and white drawings, one thing stands out to me, her signature. She put her name forward, often incorporating it into the overall composition. Her bold signature marked her drawings as her own personal brand as recognizable as her Cupid dolls. No timid signature in the corner of the page for her. Her identity was part of her art. During a brief marriage to Gray Latham, she experimented with adding his last name to her iconic signature. She sometimes reduced the name Latham to just a letter L after O'Neill, a better design choice, it seems. After filing for divorce in 1901, she dropped Latham from her signature altogether. O'Neill was honored in 2019 with induction into the National Women's Hall of Fame in Seneca Falls, New York, the only illustrator to have ever earned this honor. Her class of inductees included Angela Davis, Jane Fonda, Sonia Sotomayor, and other remarkable women.